Djibouti is geographically located on the easternmost projection of the African continent within the Horn of Africa. Uniquely positioned on the southern side of the Gulf of Aden along the world's busiest shipping route, with some 21,000 ships passing through the Gulf every year, equivalent to 11% of the world's seaborne transported petroleum. With Northeast Asia being the fastest growing cruise destination in the world, followed closely by the Persian Gulf, Djibouti is excellently situated to harness and capitalize on this rapidly expanding sector and provide safe harbor for some of the estimated 800 cruise ships that pass in close proximity to Djibouti's coastline each year. The harbor site is located on the west side of a peninsula which projects north from Djibouti city into the Gulf of Aden. The master plan seeks to capitalize on the relocation and expansion of port facilities to an extensive free trade zone at Babala. Djibouti's rail, road and airport infrastructure will support Djibouti in its aspiration of becoming one of East Africa's most visited destinations and enhancing the overall accessibility and reach of this nation. The master plan site encompasses an area of approximately 1 million square meters. China merchants together with the Port of Djibouti authorities are leading the way in transforming the port and key sites within the city into a visionary exemplar city hub that will be equipped for the demands of the 21st century and provide world-class facilities. The master plan design seeks to draw references from the DNA of Djibouti's rich heritage, such as the Hamoudi Mosque built in 1906 the historic colonial architecture of Place Menelik, the bustling street life and urban scale of the colorful marketplace at Place Rimbaud, Djibouti also has contemporary developments such as the five-star palace Kempinski Hotel, part of Djibouti's developing and promising tourism and leisure industry. The Gulf of Tajura and Mocha Islands offer rich coastal waters with excellent scuba diving. Inland, the natural wonders of Lac Ab and Lac Assal show the extent and depth of the culture and history of this fascinating country. Djibouti has been a main trading route and maritime passage between the east and west for over 3,500 years. Development of the port has increased since the 1940s. Djibouti's first modern container terminal began operation in 1985. Similar to ripples created by the casting of a stone into a body of water, the master plan radiates out from a central core, forming strong visual and physical connections to the entrance gateway and iconic buildings on its periphery, as well as connecting seamlessly into the wider city. The core is the densest and truest concentration of built form, peaking with the tallest landmark building at the heart of the CBD, signaling a new future for Djibouti. The master plan is formed of six principal phases or segments, each anchored by an iconic building of primary function supported by a mix of uses of varying densities. The design offers the flexibility of being delivered over a number of years, with each phase being self-sufficient and progressive in nature and unified by the urban park. 
Phase 1 of the regeneration of the Port of Djibouti acts as a catalyst for further phases. As such, it includes a mix of the primary uses, which activate the waterfront, including the conference center and hotel complex, to rival world-class facilities elsewhere in the world. Phase 1 also contains service departments, residential apartments and villas and associated retail and waterfront opportunities. Phase 2 contains the first series of buildings that form part of the Central Business District and extends out from Phase 1 activating the waterfront. Around the harbor basin, introducing a marina and ferry terminal, which further energize this area of the master plan and establishes routes for the next phase. Phase 3 sees the extension of the Central Business District out towards the North Quayside and the delivery of the International Cruise Terminal. The introduction of this landmark building at this precise stage of the redevelopment of the port builds on the previous phases, supporting the now established retail, leisure and hotel accommodation and providing the impetus for the future phases, itself a catalyst for increasing visiting tourists. Within Phase 4, the Central Business District and the Radial Urban Park are brought to fruition completing the final segment of the radial layout. A mix of uses including a sports zone, retail and residential accommodation further enhances the city and supports the growing population. Phase 5 focuses on residential, service departments and retail and integrates the master plan into the surrounding existing building fabric helping to stitch the old with the new. The final phase, phase six, delivers a five-star hotel, leisure facilities, and an extensive beach complex at a stage in the regeneration of Djibouti City, when it will benefit from an increased demand in tourism, both within the city itself and the wider region. Thank uh you. -huh.